If you've been watching this channel a lot, or just experimenting with Linux on your own, you probably know that one of the symptoms of late-stage Linux autism is using a window manager. While most people go the window manager route so that they can set custom key bindings that make their workflow faster and more efficient, usually so that they don't have to use the mouse, there is a subset of the window manager community that really only uses them for the express purposes of ricing and then posting screenshots of that rice to r slash unix porn so that they can farm karma from other like-minded ricers. But what if I told you that you don't actually have to go through the work of installing a minimalist Linux distro like Arch or Gentoo and then building out your entire graphical environment just to use a window manager? What if I told you that you could have a setup like those cool kids on the internet in the JustWorks distro that you are using right now? Well, it's true. And this is made possible by the simple fact that you can run any desktop environment or window manager that you want on any distro. You're not actually locked into the one that comes with it. You can change it at any time, and I'm going to show you how inside of Peppermint OS. So this particular distro comes with LXDE as its default desktop environment. It's perfectly fine, it's familiar, all the buttons are in a familiar place, and it just works. But it doesn't really impress those nerds on the internet, so we're going to install DWM. It's minimal, it's written in C, you need to have some familiarity with the C programming language just to configure it, so it makes those Linux elitist gush. So to get started, you want to open up a terminal and you want to switch to your root user. And you'll also want to CD into your root directory. And you might also want to create a .config directory within it just to keep things tidy. Although this step isn't really necessary. Next, you're going to want to download your pre-configured DWM from your GitHub, assuming that you have one. If not, you could just download the vanilla source from suckless.org and then patch it and edit it to your liking. I have a couple of videos on my channel already that go over how to do this. Next, depending on your distro and how you've patched DWM, you might need some additional packages that DWM depends on. In my case, I needed the xlib header files, xinorama, and font awesome. You'll probably need these as well if you're on a Debian-based system. Well, at least you'll need the xlib headers from libx11dev. Xinorama, it isn't really necessary in a default DWM. It's only really necessary if you've added a multi-monitor patch or something similar to that. And same deal with Font Awesome. You don't need that unless you're actually using it inside of DWM or SL Status. And these are also the dependencies for SL Status and DMenu. Both of them go pretty good with DWM, so I'm going to recommend that you install those as well. Now that your dependencies are installed and your window manager and the accessory programs are downloaded, it's time to compile it. So we just got a CD into these directories, make clean install. Same thing in SL status. And same thing in D menu. Now, once all of your programs are done compiling, you might try to do something like run DWM from the terminal. But if you do that, as you see, you're going to get this error message that another window manager is already running. You see, a window manager is already a built-in component to every desktop environment you can't actually run two or more at the same time. So we need to kill off the window manager that comes with LXDE before we can run DWM. And the easiest way to do this is to just kill off the X server since that's going to take down your desktop environment with it. 
Now, you want to be sure to save any open documents or any type of work that you might have running because what we're about to do, killing off the X server, is going to take down everything that's in the GUI. So once you're ready to do that, the key combination is going to be Control, Alt, and Backspace, or Control, Alt, and F1. And if you're in a virtual machine like I am, you want to do Host Key plus Backspace, or Host Key plus F1 to do the same things. And one of those key combinations is going to bring you to a screen like this. So this is the login to our TTY. So just go ahead and log into that with your user credentials. And you're going to have a console screen like this. Hopefully this doesn't intimidate you too much. If it does, then you might want to reboot and just continue on using a desktop environment. You want to you might want to reconsider actually using a window manager, maybe get a little bit better with Linux before moving on to that. Uh, anyway, what we want to do from here is we want to open up our Exinit RC in Vim. And if you don't have that file, you can just go ahead and touch Exinit RC and create it. It doesn't really need any special file attributes. Uh, so yeah, once you have that, go ahead and open it up. And inside of Exinit RC, we're going to write these lines. So it is exec DWM, and then this line, XRDB. This line's actually optional. I'll go into what this does in a little bit. Uh, but you'll want exec SL status. Um, that one's not really necessary either. Again, that just gives you the status monitor uh, that shows you your RAM and CPU usage. And then you'll want this xrandar-s1920 by 1080 or whatever your resolution is. Um, and actually, now that I think about it, this isn't really necessary either. You could set this up through your xorg.conf and I have a video that shows you how to do that as well. But this is just the quick and dirty way to do it, doing it with an xrandar command inside of your Xenid RC. Uh, so this XRDB, the reason that I have this is because I also went ahead and installed the URXVT terminal uh, to use that with DWM. It's the same one that I use inside of Gentoo. And I just did that because I didn't feel like editing the code of my DWM source to use a different terminal. Um, and... If, you, if you've ever used XR, I mean, not XRDB, if you've ever used URXVT, you know that the default color scheme of it is really ugly. It's like this bright white with a really small font. It's, it's terrible. So basically, this is going to make XRDB inherit the color scheme from your X resources file. And of course, you have to put that X resources file in place as well. Uh, you can generate your own if you don't have one on terminal.sexy. That's a pretty easy way to do it with a you know, visual GUI that just makes it really easy. Um, and then you can back that up to your GitHub or wherever and go ahead and drop it into whatever Linux environment you want. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and save this file. And you're also going to need to install Xenit so that you can launch your desktop environment or your window manager in this case with StartX instead of a login manager because where we're going, we don't need login managers. So once you've got uh, Xenit installed as well, you just type StartX and there you go. You've got a window manager installed on Peppermint OS or whatever type of um, Linux OS you actually want to use. So now you can take your screenshots, uh, maybe go ahead and launch an HTOP as well so that we can show everybody how minimal our system is. Although this one's really not that minimal since it has systemd on it that adds a whole lot of bloat to it, but you know, whatever. Most of the people in r slash Unix porn, they don't know anything about that anyway. So yeah, take your screenshots, farm the karma, and feel like a Linux elitist.